What's up everybody, Greg here with Lens Portigo and Lens Rentals and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to get your Teradek Bolt paired up with a receiver so you can get a monitor set up and have some wireless video. After we do this first one, I'm also gonna show you how to add in a second monitor so you can have two receivers off the same transmitter. If you guys just want the straightforward steps, I'm gonna put all of them in the description down below, so definitely go and check that out if you're in a rush and you need to get this thing paired together. All right, so let's get started. The first thing that you need to do is get all of your receivers and your Teradex set up. So this means that we're gonna plug in power. So I'm using the AC adapter for the Teradex going into the two pin limo on the power. And we're using some L series batteries to power these Teradex for this setup. I also have that same setup on both of the receivers. So the AC power going to limo and then the L series battery on the back. The other thing that you wanna do is set up your SDI cables so that you're going into your camera. So I have a camera set up underneath the table right now on a test shot, just so I have a feed coming into the transmitter. And I have the SDI going into the SDI in on the transmitter. And then I have the SDI out on the receiver going out to this small HD 702 monitor. And I have the same thing set up over here for my second receiver setup. Once you have all the cables set up and have power run to the receiver and transmitter, however you're setting that up for your rig, you're gonna go ahead and turn on both the transmitter and receiver for your first pair. Pairing. Once they get booted up, as you can see, we're getting an indicator on the monitor right there. We can go over to the receiver and use the little joystick that's on the side with all the LED displays, and we can hit right on the joystick. That's gonna get us into the menus, and we're gonna do all of our navigation using this monitor. So we can go down on the joystick, all the way down to pairing, and then click in on the joystick to start the pairing. You'll be prompted to activate pairing on the transmitter now. So what you're gonna need is some fine point tool. I just have a small pair of tweezers here, but you can also use like a paper clip or a very fine ballpoint pen. And you're gonna stick it into the hole on the side of the transmitter. And once you do, you can push down on that button and you'll see five red blinking lights on the front of the Teradek. That means you've put it into the pairing mode and it's gonna be looking for another signal. As you can see, we've gotten prompted that the receiver has found that Teradek and is asking us if that's the correct one that we wanna pair with. We can go ahead and click down on the joystick to hit okay. And now it's gonna go through the pairing process, which does take probably 15 seconds or so. And once it's done, we should get a prompt that says pairing completed successfully. And now we can hit okay, and then back out of those menus. And as you can see, we have a live feed. Just put my hand down in front of the camera here. A live feed on this first monitor. So that's the setup if you're just doing a single transmitter receiver setup. If you also wanna add in another one, you're gonna go through those exact same steps and I'm gonna show you how we do that right now. So we're gonna go over to our second receiver and now we can power it on, just leaving the other transmitter and receiver on as well. Once this gets booted up, you can see we have no signal here or no link. We're gonna go into the menus again using a joystick, hitting right on the joystick and then scrolling down to our pairing setting. Click down on the joystick and that's saying to activate on the transmitter again. So we can go ahead, do that same thing. So push that little button. You'll see those five blinking red lights and you will lose signal on your original receiver setup. And this is okay, it's just gonna pair these two together. And then once it's all done, they'll both be connected to the same signal. So going over to our second receiver, you can see that we have gotten a notification that it has found the transmitter. We're gonna hit okay, because that's the one we want it to pair to. And again, we're gonna go through this pairing process, which takes about 15 seconds. As you can see, pairing completed successfully. So we can hit OK and then just hit left on the joystick to back out of those menus. And then any second now, it should pop up. And now we have a signal on both of our monitors. We have two wireless feeds coming from the same transmitter. As you can see, if I put my hand down in front of the camera, you can see that signal. So that's how you get this set up. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you guys wanna try out the Bolt 500s or the 702s, which are great little monitors. Check them out in the link in the description down below. If you have any questions about the setup process, make sure to let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video and wanna see more, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for new videos every single week, and I'll see you in the next one.